All right. Time to get into BeamNG. And that is probably one of the worst thumbnails I've ever made. Just the quickest, quickest thumbnail ever. But, uh... Hey everybody, welcome to welcome to BeamNG. This is gonna be good. Oh wow, we got a lot of people here already. That's quick. Uh, <laughs> yeah, goodness. So um, let's uh, let's play BeamNG. Let's uh, do some racing. Uh, before I go too far, though, let me make sure to uh, drop a link in the chat. Yeah, no, people are mocking my thumbnail in the chat already. Um, I made that in like two minutes. <laughs> so it, it was intended to be extremely quick so that we could get this thing started. I do intend to make another one. Um, but yeah, hold on a minute. Let me just post a link in the chat. This is very important. Uh, this is the rules <laughs> for the... Or it's not the rules, but it is the um, scoreboard for our showcase. So... If you want to see what's going on and kind of understand what's going on, that's the place you want to be. But hey, everybody's here. 12 people, that's kind of a usual for these streams. So um, I'm also recording this, I should say, uh, so keep that in mind. <laughs> uh, yeah. So first thing I'm going to do is go around the track in another car, and I want you guys to let me know how I'm doing volume-wise. Um, I want to be able to hear these cars, but not too loud, <laughs> and uh, obviously this is being recorded, so maybe, just maybe I'll make it into a highlights reel or something. That's the idea, at least. But yeah, um, just got to move that out a little bit. Track times right there. We immediately had a car that got DQ'd because it um, it was over our horsepower ranking, and not cross who is probably not here yet. Um, I had to knock his car down uh, in power from 25.5 to 25, uh, roughly even, because I wanted to uh, run his car and uh, he was just a little bit off, so I fixed it. But we don't actually have too many entries today, and um, <clears throat> it should be uh, should be a good time. <laughs> I think we'll be racing 16 cars, and the track may surprise you, uh, because it seems like, uh, well, none of you were prepared for this, which is a good thing, and it, very much my idea. Also, my mic is falling slowly. See, this is why I wait the first, like, five minutes of the stream before actually starting, because we need to get out all the technical glitches. <laughs> Um, and I should say, uh, this is the, this is the track. We're going to the industrial site. We're going to the short mixed circuit. I know mixed means gravel and yes, that is done on purpose. And, uh, we're going to be starting off maybe not with the Legrand. That is just my test vehicle. Um, but we will, we'll start off with, uh, something, something similar to what we're going to be driving here today. Maybe just the sprint here in a nice shade of yellow for fun. Um, this is going to be interesting, I know. And, okay, I'm going to do a run-through of the track because I think it's important that I show you what you're in for <laughs> and what you've signed up for um, as uh, being part of this showcase. Mini showcase, I should say. Mini showcase. Okay, this car is dead silent. Um, this will be our quick a quick test run. I just want to see. There we go. Now I can hear it a little bit. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> oh, you did run a lap around this one, so you you are semi prepared then, uh, which is good because I don't think many people were. Um, 
Yeah, I, I tested a few cars on this to make sure it was actually doable, but this track is really quick. We're going to be doing two laps. Um, the reason we're going to be doing two laps is because this course has alternate routes. And uh, if you've run this course and you know exactly what that means, because there's a jump on this track, but it's optional. <laughs> so uh, let's get to it. Now, the idea for this showcase was very simple. I wanted to do go-karts, but I wanted to make them very, very low-powered because I figured that would be fun, and uh, that's exactly what I've done. <laughs> They're 25 horsepower max, right? So that's not much. Okay, so here is where the course diverts. Um, see, the thing with doing an actual go-kart track is that's kind of boring. I figured that in order to make this uh, this more interesting, that maybe I could just go ahead and do something a little bit crazier. And I'm turning up the game just a, a little bit. Actually, that's quite a lot. Five points up. So if it's still quiet after this, then um, let me know. But the track diverts here. You can either go to the right or you can go to the left. And the left is a dangerous position because uh, there is a jump there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run every car through the jump once. Uh, probably on the first lap so we know that it can actually make it and then uh, its second lap will be around the regular corner so every every uh, car every car is going to get an opportunity on the jump and uh, yeah it's going to be one of their two possible laps yes this maybe is a bit of a crossover with my second channel um, but I mean I don't know I just uh, wanted to mess around a little bit, make something really simple, and that's kind of what we're doing. I, I mean, in the, I guess in some way, I haven't been playing automation, so I just got other people to play automation for me. <clears throat> now I'm ruining their cars. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are into that. It's going to be fun though. It's, it's not going to be a very long stream, but it will be a fun stream. Don't worry, some of these cars will get loud. Um, <laughs> so uh, I think that this will be this will be fun. Hopefully, hopefully we'll find out. Um, I think that I can do this track in about thirty seconds uh, with one lap on a on one of these cars, even though they only have twenty five horsepower. So every lap is only going to be a minute, or every um, every run theoretically could only be a minute. So things are going to be very quick, uh, which is great. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let's go ahead and try the first car. Or actually, maybe I'll do a quick run. Um, just to warm up, I'm going to do a quick quick run in uh, something else. Something else that's small uh, and <laughs> may or may not have uh, three wheels. Let's try it. <clears throat> just so you can see exactly what I'm talking about, uh, we'll do the full course in the pigeon once, uh, even though it's a disaster on wheels. Oh, okay, that was a mistake. Hold on. Four wheel version. Uh, plus, there we go. I totally forgot that I bugged out this thing and I now have to go back to time trials and pick it. I don't know what's up with it, but my uh, BeamNG has been mildly sketchy today. <clears throat> if we have to reload the track every time, it's not a big deal because there are not too many cars. I just want to do one clean lap of the track, and here we are rolling over in the pigeon, um, which is basically what you would expect. So let's try the four wheeled one and see if I can do better. <laughs> yeah, I do have nearly 200 mods. Uh, I've gotten rid of a bunch of them, but I just added 16. So yeah, once your mods are gone, I'll be a little bit further away from the old 200. Okay, so this car is similarly powerful to the ones that I'm going to be running. So you can see that it actually will clear uh, and that it will do so cleanly, um, although barely. Oh man, rear wheel drive is going to be fun around that. Uh, I say that and I cry at the same time. This is a little bit slower than the cars that I tested, um, but that's 42 seconds on that one lap. And then this one should be approximately... 30-ish, 37, I'm going to guess. I don't really need to leave second gear in this car for whatever reason. That's just where it hugs the hugs the curves. 
I say that and it goes wide as heck around every corner. Oh, that was janky there. But yeah, I'm just using a controller for this. I was actually planning on pulling out the wheel and then I was kind of running out of time today. It's been a bit, bit of a busy day, which is why the thumbnails suck so much. <laughs> okay, 39 seconds and 42 gives us a total time of 121.8. So that's not terrible. That'll be our benchmark. Our time to beat is the pigeon on my first attempt with it. Sound good? I thought so. <clears throat> <laughs> Alright guys, so you wanted to see your cars get destroyed by me. I, I hope that that's what you wanted because that's what's going to happen. Let's start at the bottom and move our way to the top. Alright, Aero Kart Division SF25 is up. Should just be able to find it here. Oh yeah, I did do the uh, modifications that people requested. Um, so if you wanted me to hide your chassis, it's noted in the uh, the showcase uh, scoreboard thing there, and that means that uh, it happened. So the, the cars have been modified. Um, this one, for whatever reason, the bottom of it, or the back wing of it, is just straight jello, uh, but the car itself looks really darn good, and uh, no doubt was entirely made out of custom pieces, so very, very nice, um, sure as can be, for making this one. I have tested this one on the track. I have no idea if it makes a ramp or not. I have not tried it on the ramp. Uh, if it can't make the ramp, we'll just do the outside of the ramp section because there is another way around it. Uh, that'll be a little bit slower, but it's going to be uh, decent as well. I, I mean, we're the whole point of this, okay, let me reiterate, is to have fun. I'm not doing this to be serious at all. <laughs> uh, it, it is literally just to mess around. And I'm thankful for the people who have entered it, knowing that all I'm going to do is mess around, but I will try to get some semi-serious times. Sound good? Okay, let's try it. I noticed some people went dual clutch. This one is not. <laughs> um, 25 horsepower, keep that in mind. I forgot what engine this one has. You'll have to check the scoreboard. And uh, this being my first time around here with it. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> I might end up having to do this again. We shall see. No! Yeah, this is this is going to be an issue. We're going to have to take that corner with a little bit more speed to be able to get through the mud to then get to the section. Um, but the low cars are going to be a challenge. <laughs> Just think of our, uh, our detour off the ramp as being a joker lap. Um, although, having not told anybody that it was happening, nobody prepared for it. Oh, okay, it is possible. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh my goodness, this car is not made for this. <laughs> that was pretty good. That was not bad. Okay, this time we can do a more serious lap. Trying to get through the track without doing that terrible ramp. Uh, if I can get around the corners. Now, I remember something that I did say a while ago. Um was that uh, the smallest tires get a, a bit of a victory point in my mind. This car doesn't have those. It has some pretty wide wheels on the back. And... Alright, that's actually not a bad time. That's one minute. Six seconds. <laughs> pretty decent. So let's do one... Oh six point one six three. Pretty cool time there. That was a floppy section once we uh, run over the ramp. You can see that things are kind of <laughs> taking a turn for the worst here. Um, but that car is one of the lightest cars that we're going to be running today. Only 227 kilos if you're watching the, uh, the scoreboard. 25 horsepower, 227 kilos. That gives it 11%. And the higher the better in my uh, scheme there but pretty darn good. Um, so yeah, let's, let's keep that in mind. It has beaten our benchmark time, that's for sure, and move on to the next one. This one is uh, the Ruby Cherry Bomb. 
And for some reason, my scoreboard has been shifted. There we go. Now I can actually see who made them. I actually really, really like this one. Um, it's simple, but it's very well done. So good good job, uh, Yuxi Bogo, I think is how you pronounce that. Probably wrong. But uh, this one did not need any modification. It weighs a lot. It's 499 kilos, so it's, it is quite heavy. But man, does it look like a Volkswagen kit car. And uh, with an, well, it's got an i3, but if you put a boxer in there, it would be pretty much perfect. It It's just really nicely done. Um, good mute colors as well. It makes it look plastic, which is perfect for the theme. And I'm just a big fan of this. It's not quite open wheel as I suggested, but it's close enough. And uh, it definitely gets some points for that. Nice and clean, nice and simple. I like it. Alright, let's take it for a spin. I have not tried this one, so I have no idea what this one's like. I basically just picked random ones and then was testing them on the track. This one doesn't look like it's going to have a problem with our uh, mud pit though, because it is a bit high. Um, inline 3, 25 horsepower, 500 kilos. Let's do it. Oh, this is your car. Oh, it makes sense. In catching on with the names here. You made a Turbo Boxer 4 version. <laughs> Yeah, it makes sense. Fourth gear is... Wait, how many gears does it have? One, two, three... I'm liking how short they are. That makes a lot of sense for this track. No, this one is going to be good. I think I'm not going to have too many issues. Uh, that being said, we are approaching the mud. I'm going to go down into third. Ooh, easy. A bit... Actually, that's really bouncy on the camera. The camera is permanently ruined. <laughs> It is blasting my eardrums currently. This car is loud. Fourth gear. Great time. Excellent time there. If it can take the mud, it can take the rest of the course without any issues. Definitely sits well in third gear. I know I'm giving a bit of an advantage to the higher cars by having them run through the mud, but I, and I know that that was not previously uh, talked about, but I feel like it's a good change of pace for us. This is going to be a good time. This is going to be a great time. Uh, fourth gear hanging on the limiter. Oh, that's fast. That is currently our top point there, but not by much. 105, 573. Good time. 573. Nice. Hey, Celery, welcome to the stream. Your car has not run yet. Uh, if anybody has to leave early or anything like that, just let me know and I'll run your car. Um, but yes, uh, yes, the track has mud. <laughs> and a pretty good crash on this one. A little bit of damage, but overall, the thing just wiggles like mad. No clue why it does that. <laughs> just strange. And my thing keeps getting shifted over, but yes, Goofy, it is your time to shine. Can your car last? We will find out. Oh, you got all night? Okay, sweet. <clears throat> we will be doing everybody today, so get ready. Uh, <laughs> but the next one is uh, Engelman. Uh, and I have hidden your chassis, so hopefully this one comes out right. I've not tested it yet. Come on, inline four. Another, okay, so I think... Uh, it's worth noting that Goofy's car is the lightest car that we're going to be running today uh, at 217 kilos, which is a risky maneuver because that is like, <laughs> that is not much in the world of automation and BeamNG. You can see it's rolling backwards, uh, so we'll, we may have to reset before trying it again, but man oh man, it's extremely light. The best ratio that we have so far, obviously 25 horsepower to 217 kilos. The gun isn't working, but the chassis is gone, so that's a good sign. And overall, uh, let's see. Inline four on this one, everybody has a different engine choice. Well, there are a lot of inline fours actually, but let's give it a go. This one has ESC and it looks like it might be automatic. Oh, it's quick. Okay, I'm sensing that this one will not have any issues in the mud pit, but it does have some twitching problems. It is very, very twitchy. Oh, we're on the wrong website for that. Come on, mud pit. 
Oh, beautiful jump. Excellent. <laughs> this one might even be a faster car than the last one, actually. Uh, for these dual clutch cars or uh, sequential, I'm just going to put them in drive. Uh, I thought about doing sport mode, but I feel like just putting them in drive is fair to everybody, so um, that's what I'm going with. But anyway, <laughs> unlimited budget means that quality sliders and such could be spammed to the absolute heck in this challenge. And uh, you can definitely see that in some, these cars. All of them so far have been quality. And when I was exporting, I don't think I saw any of them that were low effort. So I really appreciate you guys pulling up the uh, pulling up the level on this one. Sometimes we get some really crappy cars. Anyway, that's going to be fast. 131. I think that's a total of 104. They are getting faster with every single run. Goodness. 104.856. Fast run. That is very fast. Excellent job. All right. <laughs> Next one is uh, by Arizona, um, or uh, many other names. <laughs> it's uh, WVB. Not sure what that stands for, but at least it's not a meltdown. Okay, it's basically a meltdown. I have actually tried this one, I think. Maybe? So this one didn't need any suggestions, <laughs> it didn't need anything hidden. Uh, inline 3, 17.8 uh, horsepower, so weirdly the lowest horsepower car in our races today. Uh, and it's actually the lowest one um, that's going uh, in this challenge at all because um, in terms of the power to weight ratio, because the other one got dis disqualified and I didn't even bother to export it, like the name of it. Um, but yeah, you can check the scoreboard if you want to see that. But yeah, this is basically a glorified meltdown, so... <laughs> True, we need the pink gold color scheme. That, that, is, that is what makes it a meltdown. 400 kilos on this one, so it's a little bit weighty. Uh, not much power compared to everybody else, but it is an inline three, uh, and it is basically a meltdown where the fenders have been cut so that the wheels are mildly open. It's not really a go-kart, but it kind of is at the same time it counts for this challenge because the rules were really lax uh and yes it is open top which is nice <laughs> so let's see what this one will do um maybe it'll go fast I, i'm it's not looking favorable based on the power to weight ratio but it shouldn't have any problems in the mud because it is quite tall <laughs> and the wheels look decently wide so let's give it a go manual transmission really really low rpm limit only 4000 oh man it is a little bit slower than what i'm used to but <laughs> that's okay it should be fine we can probably haul between second and third gear here uh, although i am going to drop to second around every corner and then hammer it through here come on oh no problem with the mud at all that does give it a decent advantage coming through these corners this one is actually pretty well planted but it doesn't have a lot of power so that does make a lot of sense. Mild cutting of that corner was in incidental. I did not mean to do that. Uh, but uh, yeah, don't worry about it. Coming to here, down into second. <laughs> it's really weird how the headlights up front are just like blocks, but yeah, it's fine. Uh, second gear, I almost went into the thing by accident, the Joker. We don't need to do that a second time. We should be good to just run through this. On the mud, no problems there. I'm going to drop down into second again. The car does seem to live in second. It does not want to go any higher than third. Okay, that one was a little bit slower, but we kind of expected that. 1.11 is our slowest time yet, but you know what? You're still faster than the pigeon, so consider yourself to be uh, golden in that way. Don't worry, slowness is not necessarily badness. I still don't mind the style of it. And let's watch that crash. <laughs> Pretty decent crash, although these cars seem to be fairly rigid, probably again due to having ridiculous budgets. Alrighty, next car on our list is by Buzzy. Uh, I'm sure that he is excited about this one. And I typed in the name, and I did not type in the name of the car. It is Indie Formula. And I. 
don't know how to type. There we go, Indy Formula. This is the car that is in the thumbnail. Uh, there are a few cars that actually look similar to this, but this one is definitely the best in terms of uh, overall design. Just really, really nicely done. 25 horsepower, 235 kilos. So again, one of the lightest cars in our challenge, and uh, that makes it a 10.6% uh, in terms of the power to weight. Uh, with a B4, Boxer 4, and you will definitely be hearing it. Um, <laughs> this car is a little bit loud, it is very small, and it definitely fits the theme. Thank you, Buzzy, for making this one. I appreciate it. Uh, wide tires, though, and extremely low. So <laughs> this is going to be uh, probably very difficult to get over the mud pit. Although I will tell you that because I knew this car was low, it was one of the ones that I tested to make sure it would actually do it. And spoiler alert, it does, but it's very difficult. You have to get a perfect line. So let's do it. Um, <laughs> this is going to be fun, though. I'm excited. <laughs> this car is wicked quick, uh, so I got to do my best to uh, give it a flying chance here. It has ESC, which does give me another opportunity to not spin out. Um, <laughs> Uh, the handling on it is like a dart. I don't know what's going on with this suspension tuning, but it is just wickedly uh, pointed and very hard to miss. That's going to count over the mud pit, kind of halfway there, a bit of a scramble at the bottom, but overall not bad. Uh, this one may be the quickest. That is lightning fast. That is our first lap there, and under 30 seconds. Oh my goodness. If I don't screw up this corner this time, then maybe it'll be even faster. <laughs> this time we're going way wide. That was a bit of a stall in there. My fault, but I think Buzzy knows at this point that I'm pretty crap with the manual still, so that's why he's using the dual clutch. Um, again, we're flying through. Easy peasy. And this might be the fastest car. Oh yes it is. That is going to be under a minute. 56 seconds. Beautiful time. Love that one. <laughs> 56.344. So that is our first endeavor into the, well, now we're suddenly under a minute. Let me just put a zero in front of that so it lines up on the board. 0 0.56. Excellent job. Um, but yeah, this, this car is, I mean, I expect Buzzy's cars to be fast, but this one is wicked quick. That is a full eight seconds faster than the last one or eight seconds faster than our current previous fast one, which was Goofy's uh, Engelman Motor Co., Co., which is company, but I had to shorten it. And then more words after that has a really long name. But anyway, that one's good. Uh, let's go on to the next one. I'm fairly excited about this car. Um, Turbo Cat uh, always seems to have unique creations. <laughs> this one, no exception, is a B City Cross Taxi. To be honest, it looks like a car that you can buy on Alibaba, uh, imported from China. Um, <laughs> one of those really crappy electric cars that you can get for like a thousand bucks on the internet. That's what it reminds me of. It's like an old person taxi. I don't know if that was intentional but it definitely has that theme. Uh, it is also kind of big for the challenge, but it's only big in terms of height. Uh, that goes with a 25 horsepower. Uh, yeah, it is literally a chang changly noise from Jalopnik, if you're into that. But uh, 352.4 kilos, and it is 7.1% in my scale. Um, <laughs> but it's pretty darn tall and that might be a challenge for the corners it's got some spikes on there so i don't think the mud is going to be uh, coming around here it's going to be afraid to walk into this thing's path as i would be too man oh man um thematically though it's perfect i like the cut roof as well again we're one of the requirements was uh open wheel <laughs> 42069 on the side you know he had to do it to him and uh, yeah, this is going to be a disaster in the mud pit. Extremely small wheels. I am excited for this. I have not tried this one, so let's uh, let's do it. <laughs> Drink of the old water first. We're getting through these fairly fast, but don't worry. Um, <laughs> it's only been half an hour, so we still got time. Alrighty. First gear. <laughs> oh man, I'm going to have to go up. It's a little bit too tall. It's just weirdly, weirdly tall. 
down into first again. This is probably the fastest one of these cars ever made, uh, unless you happen to infuse one with lipo batteries or something. Uh, second gear through the mud pit, maybe? Oh, it's stalled out. Oh, that's rough. Okay, let's try it again. We're gonna have to go through the mud pit with more speed because that just did not go. It did not fly in the mud pit. The bee was not happy. <laughs> Alrighty. Gonna bang on the limiter to get out at first. Up into second. I don't think that going uh, any faster around here is a good idea in this because it feels like it's gonna tip at any moment. Uh, I wanna, oh, not do that. This is the first car I've actually had issues with in our run so far. But that's sort of where the good part of having super short laps comes in. I don't feel like I need to set a limit in, in terms of how many uh, I have to do <laughs> before we DQ. I'm going to try to take that corner a little bit better this time, as you can see there. I'm going to go down into first, hammer it into second, come on, bog down. Oh, it made it. It definitely made it. <laughs> that's going to count. That is definitely going to count. Yeah, it had a lot of difficulty in the mud pit. It really bogged down in the mud, uh, which is to be expected. It is literally a bog. Um, <laughs> okay. This corner last time was a disaster, and I don't want to roll. Okay, easy peasy. This one is again a disaster. <laughs> if I cut that too short, then we just go out to pasture. Uh, easy there again, too. All right, difficult part is over. This is not going to be a super fast time, let's be real, but it is going to be a fun time. <laughs> Just don't pay the prices on the side of the thing. Drop it in a second. And hit the limiter over the line. 31, 37. Not bad. Uh, that is putting it second last. <laughs> but it's fun, so that's all that matters. 181, I like to see it. <laughs> Does a Barbie cart count as a go-kart? I mean, if you put enough performance modifications on it, anything can be a go-kart, let's be honest. And to crash the bee, it's surprisingly stout uh, for something that was built on China, in China. Anyway. <laughs> let's move on. Oh, wrong one. Uh, let's move on to the next thing. It is the Solo Osprey. I wonder who that one's by. Another race cart in here. Uh, this one is going to be a challenge <laughs> because, uh, well, it's really low. Um, first things first. B4, 25 horsepower, 231.4 kilos, extremely light, very powerful. Everything is powerful in this because it's all 25 horsepower. <laughs> 10.8 on my scale, not bad. Let's see if it'll do it. Uh, G... J Solo. I'm not how, sure if that's how you would want to say your name or not. Uh, chassis is hidden as you requested, and the car is looking brilliant. Um, this one looks extremely fast. It <laughs> It's really nicely done again. Um, extremely wide wheels. Uh, these people are going more for speed, and also extremely low, because yeah, that's... Uh, that's what's going to happen here. We're going to crash into the water and it's going to be a disaster, but we have made it so far without any issues in the last few cars, uh, so we should be good. One thing I got to say, I really like the quivering suspension that is hyping me up for something here. Quivering suspension is always a good sign. All right, let's do it. Drive and oh, it's quick. Oh, it pulls to the left immediately. Something is broken on it as it's already hit the ground and we haven't even hit any bumps yet, except when I just did a two-wheel moment there. Um, I'm anticipating having to do this one twice. Oh, pretty good actually. Not bad through the bumps, although I do think that we're losing parts as we drive along here. But it made it over the mud without issues and that is a great sign. <laughs> Boys, I am fading fast. That is a 31 second time. That is slower than Buzzy's, uh, probably because of my inept driving around that one corner. So we got to keep that in mind. Uh, that is again a slow corner, but I'm going to cut there. If I cut too much, then we have to do it again. Dang. Okay, that's no problem. 
I'm definitely okay with doing it again. But uh, one thing, if you'll watch the graph at the bottom of the speedometer, the uh, g-force on this is just off the actual charts. <laughs> For whatever reason, it is bouncing all over the place. Run through. Oh, it has just enough power when it gets on the ramp to get over it. That is a beautiful run there. Very, very well done. Um, <laughs> something that has happened in the past is if, if you like my performance or not, you can definitely take your car on this track and try and best me uh, to see what your time really would be. But the thing is that it's all fair because it's all being driven by equal incompetence. Uh, that is my quote that I'm stol I've stolen from Consider. <laughs> all right. You know, some of these cars are legit hitting 100 kilometers an hour or close, which is surprising for 25 horsepower. And they can do it darn quick as well. Oh man, that was a bad corner. That is, oh, just over a minute. <laughs> that is one minute, <laughs> 0.9. So not quite buzzy time, but definitely quick. I think that I could drop that time if I really went at it for a couple more tries. But I think that that's fair. Pretty darn good time there, second place. Nice. <laughs> and with all these cars, they're loaded with fixtures, and uh, they explode very nicely. Good to see. Nice floating letters as well. Nice job, though. Nice job on that car. Up next, we have uh, Brill. Brill's car is up next. Let's see what it is. A go-kart S1. So this one is literally just a go-kart. Like, it actually looks like a go-kart. Uh, which is a good thing, because this is go-kart challenge, and it, if it looks like a go-kart, it's supposed to look like a go-kart. Everybody else was a little bit more creative, but I also kind of wanted to see something like this in here too, uh, so I'm happy about it. Interestingly, um, Brill's car, inline four, 228.1 kilos, one of the lightest cars in this challenge. I think it's actually the third lightest, if I'm reading that correctly. Beautiful engine cover, I can tell you now. I haven't even looked at this one yet. Um, and 11% on my scale, which puts it in third, uh, or tied for second, I guess. We need more decimal places to tell, but man, oh man. It looks like a go-kart. It runs like a go-kart. <laughs> and it's got a big pod filter on it, so you know we're doing something right. Also, my favorite color, just thought I'd put that out there. Orange, thank you very much. Let's go for it. Uh, this one, I suspect it's gonna have issues clearing the mud pit, but uh, we will find out. There's, there's only one way to find out. First gear, okay, it's got gears. Oh, it did wheelies, that's dangerous. Oh my goodness, the steering is... <laughs> oh no, what's going on? Is it the short wheelbase? Every time I turn, the car slows down drastically. I'm wondering if it's ESC. Uh, it, ESC is not going to have a good time through this section here. No way. <laughs> okay, guys. There is a minor issue here. It is definitely the ESC. Watch what happens, okay? There's just the demo run here. Watch what happens when we, when we go... <laughs> I turn to the side and it cuts power. Just watch the thing blink. <laughs> that is just ridiculous. <laughs> um, I don't think it's going to work, to be honest. I'm going to try it one more time with ESC, and then because I'm trying to be nice, we'll give it the benefit of, doubt, of the doubt. We'll turn off the ESC and I'll go for a full-on run. We'll just make a slight note that I turned off the ESC on that run. Sound good? I want to be uh, I want to be fair to everybody in this challenge. <laughs> so let me try and clear the ramp one more time, and then I don't think the time is going to be good with ESC, but it might be good without it. Um, we're going to have to try uh, <laughs> one more time. Let's see. Maybe if I don't launch so hard, I'll just yeah, that's better. But you can't. You literally cannot turn the corner because it just cuts power as soon as it detects any sort of spinning. It is just very, very sensitive. <laughs> oh no. Wait. Come on. First gear. No, there's no chance. It, there's no way. Okay. Let's do it like this. Uh, ESC in uh, just off mode. No traction control, no um, ESC. So 
We should be able to do it this time. There we go, that's a little bit better. Yeah, it actually drives now. Okay, so the mistake was uh, all in the electronics. N nothing to do with the actual car, just one small error in putting that piece on. But other than that, this thing is wicked quick. Oh, she fast. <laughs> oh no, it's too fast. That is too, too fast. It's in a tree. <laughs> Oh man, this, this is the ch most challenging car so far in numerous aspects, but if I can keep it out of the tree, it'll get around the track very quickly. I will tell you that right now. Uh, I'm going to drop down into second gear for the ramp. Mud pit, come on. Oh, nicely done. And I'll put it up in th into third here just to control wheel spin. Okay, easy. Not bad at all. We just have to watch it next time I go around that. But... <laughs> Other than that, this thing flies. That is a 32 second. It's not going to be the fastest car, but it will be one of the fastest. That's for darn sure. I think if I cut around here, maybe. Okay, the dirt section is scary. I'm going to continue to take it a little bit easy on this. Oh, keep it together. Yes. The lack of grip in the front is causing some issues, and that is a 1 minute and 2.572. Pretty darn fast again. Man, oh man. 0.572. And I'll put a little note here, ESC off, just so we know. Dang, fast time though, fast time. I like what I'm seeing here, guys. That it, We're getting some pretty darn good cars. Uh, I'm not sure that I'm going to count that one is, uh, as the official third place just yet, just because we had to do some mods to it, but I'm glad to have put in a time for it. Next one up is going to be the uh, Not Crosses Bugo cart. It's the, well, Bugo cart. The problem is I have a ton of Bugos. There it is. <laughs> It also happens to have a small modification of the driver, and uh, the driver has an Among Us mask on, which almost makes me want to disqualify this car immediately, uh, straight out of the gate. <laughs> but hey. Okay, inline four, 24.9 horsepower. So to explain the note in the scoreboard, uh, the reason that this one has 24.9 horsepower is because it had 25.5. I guess he didn't read the rules and I knocked it down so that we could run it in this race just because I really wanted to run it um, but yeah it's got 24.9 now because I detuned it <laughs> uh, and then it's 336.2 kilos and 7.4 percent on my scale um, with the bugo <laughs> the bugo aspects here are awesome um, genuinely I would love to have one of these in real life that would be amazing uh, I'm not that good a fabricator, but having a toy car Bugo or Yugo would be awesome. <laughs> okay, let's go for it. This one shouldn't have any problem at all in the mud uh, because it's got wide as heck wheels and a decent amount of ground clearance, and it also has a 9,000 RPM engine, which is just insane. That is so loud. It sounds like a NASCAR not cross. What is this? Oh my goodness, the Bugo has never sounded so good. Uh, second gear, fly through. Oh, rough landing, but a decent run through the mud. I'm being deafened by this car at the moment. Okay, it's smoking, the radiator's blown. Hopefully we don't get too hot here. Oh, it's flying. <laughs> knock it down, knock it down. Up into second, probably actually need to go down into second, I mean. Uh, we do not need to be in third for that section. It is not necessarily quick, but man oh man is it loud. Goodness, no exhaust I'm sure, or just bare minimum exhaust. 28 on that next lap, nice, goodness not cross. 101, this thing was quick. It would have been even faster with the touch more horsepower. 101.278.
is a solid third place for that car. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> hey, Sleep64, thank you for uh, <laughs> entering your car. You're going to be third last on our runs, so get ready for that. All right, next one up is the rowboat. Um, this is uh, this is going to be good. Now, this one I have tested uh, because it's massive, and uh, it's important that we make sure that our large competitors can get through the challenge. <laughs> so, robo time it is. Uh, you can already tell it is huge. Oh man, these cars are getting quicker, and I'm getting more scared, but this one probably is not going to be that quick. Spoiler alert, it's a V8, and uh, one of the two V8s in our challenge, surprising V8s in fact, um, which you would not normally see here. <laughs> Uh, 25 horsepower, 482.7 kilos, one of the heaviest vehicles in our challenge. Uh, second to the Ruby Cherry Bomb, which went second, and uh, also the thing that it also was disqualified way at the beginning. But uh, So this one, it had requested that I hide the chassis, engine, and exhaust. I don't know how to hide the exhaust in the engine, so I'm sorry, but I did hide the chassis, and uh, it's it's literally a boat. Um, story of this one, I suggested it in our chat, and this mad lad actually made it, so uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, I guess? Question <laughs> mark? It's fun. That's all that matters. I especially like the paddles, uh, and I really appreciate that small detail. <laughs> all right, let's do it. Get your boat puns ready, everybody. It's time for this boat to go. Probably the longest car in the challenge. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> it's really twitchy. I don't know what's going on with the front wheels because they look like five wheels combined. They are extremely long. Now this thing should not have any problem in the mud. Oh, no problem at all. It doesn't even blink twice when it's going through that. That's like its native habitat or something. Turns out that this is a uh, swamp boat, uh, and it's surprisingly fast. That is a 32 second lap for something this heavy. It is uh, reasonably controllable, so I think that's probably why. I really love watching the suspension flex as I'm driving this thing around. Uh, the push rods are just messing around over and over again. It's fun to see, I don't know. Easy to control in the dirt, probably the widest tires in this entire run. Uh, and it's going to end up with a... Oh, that's a fast time. Just over a minute. One minute. <laughs> One minute. One, four, six. That's second place. Clean second place. Beautiful. You have lost your second place. Somehow, this thing does not float like a boat. Instead, it is relatively controllable and uh, very, very dentable. That was a really good run. That was excellent. Uh, surprising, especially because it has such a low uh, ratio, like according to my, um, my calculations. 5.2% is half of what some of the other cars are running for power to weight. That is just crazy that it's that fast, but very happy to see it. <laughs> All right, next one is by Leo, the mini hot rod tanker. I don't remember what this one looks like. Mini... Oh, this one, yeah. I remember seeing this in the challenge. This is a very well-designed one already, but anyway. 25 horsepower in line 3. 345.3 uh, in terms of the uh, weight in kilos. 7.2 on my rating scale. So kind of middle of the road. Not terrible, not great. Um, <laughs> but it's decent and immediately it bumped on the ground so that's mildly worrying but this has got to be one of the most creative ones in this entire challenge and I can already tell it's going to blow your eardrum so get ready for that uh, it does not have any mufflers to speak of <laughs> inline threes are loud and uh, oh yeah it's cool I love seeing the air cooler stick out of the body like that too awesome stuff it's extremely wide for whatever reason, but it is short as heck, and that's really cool. <laughs> uh, and the, hot, the, the chassis is hidden for this one as well, so not sure if that makes any difference for our performances, but it is noted. Alrighty, 
No problem with the mud for this one. Let's see if the... Oh, sweet lord, that is a noise. <laughs> it is freakishly loud. Everything inside of my headphones now is deafening. I don't know if I'm going to be able to control this. <laughs> I just terribly misshifted there. Uh, over the ramp, let's try it. And... Ooh, rough. Okay, so we gotta get a bit more speed going through there. This is a wide load, and it's gonna need it. <laughs> it's Stanley from Cars? Oh, no. <laughs> no, that guy's dead now. He's rust. Alright, third gear through there. I think I'm gonna knock it down to second through this section. It gets real wobbly on the back. <laughs> Up to third here again down into second. I want to hit this section with as much speed as I can get. So we'll stay in second. Oh, it's so close. Okay, we're gonna have to do a proper run to get that up there. It's gonna be a ridiculous thing. Um, and I'm turning down the volume right now because the, <laughs> the deafening nature of this car is very distracting. <laughs> Maybe it's the fuel tank on the back, a little bit too much weight perhaps. Uh, by the way, those weights are automation weights. BMNG weights are always different, so keep that in mind. Uh, we're doing a run-up now, down into second, up into the speed category of things, and come on! I'm gonna count it. I'm counting that. I cannot count it because it will not get out of the mud. <laughs> no! Dang it. Okay. This will be our first car to use the alternate mud route. Uh, which is a new one for us, but it'll be good, don't worry. Gotta just run through the side section of the track there, and uh, it'll be just fine, hopefully. It's still gonna need some speed to get through the mud, but it will not need to clear the ramp, which is the important bit. Um, so I haven't actually done this side before. Oh, never mind. Basically, the idea is with this one, and I should probably pre-test it, but we would come around the side here, and then exit... Oh no. It's so low that it just hits on everything. Um, that is going to be an issue. <laughs> this might be the first one that doesn't make the, uh, the ramp. But, I can't speak too soon. I gotta give it all that we can. Even if it doesn't get a competitive time, I would like it to finish, at the very least. Uh, so let's try it. Down into second. Trying it one more time. Come on. Going up here. Yes! No! Okay, I have an alternate plan. Don't worry, I will keep trying. <laughs> if you're being deafened, then you will continue to be deafened until this one's done. It shouldn't have any problem on the rest of the track. It is literally just the ramp. <laughs> Come on. Go off to the side. That's gonna count. No, it's stuck. Ah, okay, you know what? Double... No ramp on this one, no ramp. Let's just do it. Let's get it over with. We're gonna do double around the outside. If it gets a crazy time, then, uh, then that doesn't quite work. <laughs> but it's unfortunate, this one being the only one that couldn't make the ramp. Oh, I'm disappointed, but it's okay. Let's uh, finish this off the right way. And by that I mean actually doing two proper laps of the track <laughs> instead of taking the Joker as I have been. Okay, if I could shift gears, it might be a little bit quicker. But it's definitely not going to win any prizes here. 36. Not exactly fast. However, whoa, second gear. She dances around the corners, that's for sure. This one is wild. Oh, the wheel spin is crazy. <laughs> if 
by dances around the corners, I mean it literally just bounces around the corners. There's nothing I can do to stop that. <laughs> Come on, give it the beans. 33. Okay, so that's going to be a minute 10. But we'll put a little note that says it didn't make the, the Joker. That's okay though. Excellent lap from that one. I'm happy that it finished. <laughs> no Joker. All right, let's see. We got a few more. Uh, Buggy Cart Mark II Brown Edition. First of all, let's see that thing get demolished. And uh, let's see what we can do about Buggy Cart Mark II. Which one is that one? Oh, it's this one. Okay, so this one is also very unique. Um, I-5, the only one in the challenge for whatever reason they decided to do an I-5. <clears throat> um, 25 horsepower, everybody has that. The thing is, like, I didn't limit torque, right? So you could have as much torque as you wanted, which is good and bad. But uh, this one is also extremely light, as thank you, Nathan, for pointing that out. 295.5 uh, kilos, which is quite light. 8.5 on my scale, uh, with an inline 5 which is, again, strange, but maybe that's the torque solution is what I'm trying to say. It's possible that that inline 5, which is hanging out in the back of this thing, uh, right around here, is just a torque beast, and uh, we just don't know about it. But it's cool, <laughs> and uh, it's a well-designed cart, that's for sure. This one kind of makes it, like, it kind of brings on feelings for me of, like, this is somebody who cut up their Honda Civic and uh, just made it into a tube frame. <laughs> That's what it looks like. <laughs> Short burst of water there, and let's see if we can get this ladder on the track. I'm not anticipating any issues in the mud, although the middle of the chassis there is very low, so <laughs> we shall see. Okay, they know what I like. Dual clutch, ESC, and it doesn't seem to be super invasive. Uh, I have driven this one previously. Uh, I was on a different track. It was just a test uh, to make sure that things were working. And first lap is going to be our Joker lap. Let's see if we can hit this straight. Oh, bog in the mud, but a decent amount of power to get on out of it. Nice and clean. That is definitely one of the cleanest exits of the mud that we've had so far in this run. Uh, getting through this, I think. Oh, that's not going to be award winning, but that 32 second lap is really quite quick. If I can capitalize on that here and get the rest of the track sorted, maybe this will be one of our top uh, few. Top 5, I guess, is good. I was going to say top 10, but then I realized, like, top 10 is pretty easy when it's out of 16. <laughs> so maybe that's not the goal to aim for. Um, maybe we can go for the top 5 run there. There you go. <laughs> top 3 is best. Am I from America? No. Well, I guess technically yes, because Canada is in North America. That is 5th place, 101.748. Good time. Excellent time, actually. Not a bad car overall. Uh, very, very low weight. Interesting choice with the i5. Fast car, though, um, <laughs> when you get it around the track and you get it moving. All right, <laughs> see you later, Mithran. It's time for Celery. And uh, your car, let me see, hide the chassis, is um, one that I have not driven yet, so we shall take a look at it. V8, a uh, second V8 that we're running today. <clears throat> and 287.2 uh, uh, kilos, 25 horsepower, 8.7 on my scale, and again, weird V8, but uh, extremely loud. What is this? <laughs> I love the death cart look, I'm going to be honest. Um, it is very loud. I question, I'm assuming that's supposed to be an air intake. I thought it was an exhaust when I first looked at the car, and I got a bit worried that you were venting the exhaust to the driver, but that's okay. Um, let's, let's give it a run. It seems to be going forwards at the moment. Shockingly loud. I'm going to try that again because I messed up the start. <laughs> that is deafening. What on this earth is going on with the exhaust? This car actually feels big compared to the rest. 
Oh, wow. I am beyond deafened. Third gear. Oh, this thing can spin, that's for darn sure. Second gear. Pretty easy time over the mud. I'm not sure that you guys can even hear this. <laughs> um, first lap is going to be a reasonable 33 seconds. Not exactly back-breaking, but it is going to break me. That is a spin. I'm going to have to do this again. Celery, what is going on with this car? It is spin-worthy. <laughs> it's very quick, though. If I can get it around the track, it'll be a uh, wicked quick car. This is the first time I've heard a car sound like this out of automation. I don't know what, what kind of wizardry is going on here. No problem in the mud. This kind of feels like a full-size car. It's a little bit big for the challenge, but it's fine. Um, <laughs> it's short, that's for sure. It just feels like imposing, being so low. It's just a tube frame, that's it. There you go, that's a good time. 30 seconds. Try that one more time there. <laughs> okay, we took the Joker last time. Oh. Okay, goodness. Ooh, I've been giving other cars a fair shake. Yours is definitely no no exception, but man, this one is tough. This is a tough driver. Even with ESC, it is all over the place, and I think that's just down to how much power it has. 25 horsepower, <laughs> but a boatload of torque. Oh yes, no question on the torque. I am flipping up into third gear there just to avoid the spins. But I think that might be my cleanest lap yet. Uh, 31 seconds, so a little bit slower than what I did that one time. No spin there, though. That's what I want to see. And third gear down into second. Come on, hold it together. Okay. <laughs> Holding it together here, lads. This thing is not slow. Third gear flying. Don't want to cut. Don't cut. Oh, 28. That's going to be under... Uh, that's under a minute. Second place. That is ridiculously quick. Beautiful job there. 59.653. That is a solid second place. I was a little bit worried with the, uh, the first lap being over 30 seconds, but then that second lap redeemed it. Nice job on that uh, car. Very, very difficult to drive. <laughs> very difficult to drive. Okay, next one on the list is, uh, what is it, Core? Uh, this one, by our, <laughs> by Rob. Um, it's going to be a good runner, I think. Uh, pretty normal stats for this race. I3, 25 horsepower. 372.2 kilos, a little bit on the heavier side, 6.7 on my scale, so not bad at all. Uh, this is going to be decent, I think. Uh, decent average time, hopefully. That's what I'm going for. By the way, I have a cookie next to me, uh, which I'm going to reward to myself for finishing this stream. <laughs> which I think we're getting pretty close. We got three cars left, and then we'll go through the winners and stuff and the times and just make sure everybody's looking at the same thing. Sound good? All right. Let's let's uh, let's take a look at this one, Rob. Uh, 25 cents a ride. Very creative idea. I appreciate this kind of creativity. Um, making a coin-operated car is a really cool thing. It's not totally uh, open wheel, but it's close enough, and uh, it's... <laughs> awkwardly got a mount for the exhaust sticking off of what appears to be the diff or transmission uh, which is awesome <laughs> anyway let's go for it brightly colored and hopefully quick I don't see this one having any problems in the mud pit as long as it's got some torque uh, but in inline three <laughs> we'll find out oh it's quiet compared to our predecessor here okay that I actually appreciate its quietness goodness I was going deaf on that last car. I think I might have actually gone deaf at some point during the run, and I am just talking to myself now, um, as I have been for the past hour. Okay, let's go through this. Oh yes, wheelbase is definitely enough to get through there, no problem. Easy on the power too. 
A uh, little bit of spin, but not bad at all. Oh, I need to get up into third. Bang in the limiter. That's a quick time, 30 seconds. Oh my goodness, that is actually wickedly fast. <laughs> if this ends up winning, I don't know what the heck I'm going to say. Um, I need to be down in second. <laughs> I'm jinxing myself here. Very controlled means it gets a much better time generally along this course. Uh, but banging off the limiter into last. Oh, that's quick. That is really quick. 59, that's second place. Oh no. Second place stolen immediately after it was taken. 0, 5, 9, 0, 2, 5. That is very fast. Seller, you're down into third place. <laughs> Man, oh man, two cars left. Two cars left, and one of them is going to be quick, I can tell you that. Um, <laughs> all right, Scrappy Adam, it is time for Nat 64's run. I'm wondering if they're still here. <laughs> that is a close race there, boys. Very close. Um, <laughs> Scrappy Adam is an interesting name, and, uh, and it's going to be an interesting car as well, I think. All right, I honestly think that car that I that I was running, um, Rob, your car is much more controllable than I thought. And in one of the turns, I was in third, and I really should have been in second. I probably could have got faster. Uh, it's not going to beat a buzzy time of 56, but it would have been real fast, um, even faster, probably 58, if I had gotten that corner right. So. You should tr you should definitely try that one out on the uh, on this track, and tell me the time that you get because I think uh, it's going to be quick. <laughs> anyway, uh, so this one I didn't get a chance to talk about it. Boxer four hanging off the back end, twenty five horsepower, four hundred and twenty five kilos, five point nine percent. So a little bit lower than the last one we we're running in percentage, but there is a lot less bodywork going on here, and there's a propane tank up front for some reason. I'm assuming that's supposed to be nitrous. Um, and the exhaust apparently kicks in the wrong direction. That's awesome. Now the driver gets high while they drive. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the steering wheel, but I did hide the chassis, so it should be a, a good runner. This one um, seems to be a really thin-wheeled vehicle, something we have not seen yet. Um, so mud... I have no idea, but this looks like the kind of thing that I could make out of square tubing in my garage, and I'm very happy to see it. All right, uh, first gear, let's try it. 9,000 RPM. <laughs> oh no, not cross style engine here. Oh, the brakes are touchy. Okay, that's gonna be interesting. It's hanging up in the higher revs is gonna be fun. I'll tell you that now. We may not even ever get out of second gear. The black smoke coming off of it is disconcerting. Oh, that's a good jump off the ramp and the steering wheel goes wild. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to be a little bit more controlled over the ramp. <laughs> you see the exhaust? That is hilarious. I don't think it was intentional, but it's really funny. Um, okay, really touchy brakes. i got to be super cautious with that. Um, but... Other than flying off the ramp in the wrong direction, which I would blame myself for. I didn't get a good angle on it originally. I think this car... Oh yes, easy. Is gonna be a decent one. Easy to control, good on the drifts, high up in the RPM, and never leave second gear. That's what I like to see. <laughs> okay, maybe we'll leave second gear here. 35 seconds, a little bit slow perhaps. Okay, down into second. Let's see, come on. I'm actually going to drop down into one for this corner. It is a slow corner, no doubt. We don't want to lose anything around the edge here. Oh, that's a drift. I picked this track specifically because I really like the jump diversion. I did not pick it for the uh, the dirt section there, <laughs> but it is fun. 109, not bad time. That puts you in 13th place out of uh, 15 cars that have gone so far. Not terrible. 
109.061. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Okay, everybody. It's time for the final car in the challenge. Final car in this mini showcase called the Warhead. Um, <laughs> and this car is another one of those very unique ones uh, in the sense that it's extremely light, boxer four, and the body panels on it are just way different than what we've seen so far. Very unique design, very cool. <clears throat> hey, I appreciate your entry. Even if you don't get the best time, it's still fun for me to run it around the track, and I hope that's uh, that's what counts. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at this one. Um, 8.6 on my scale, so quite high up there. Uh, at 25 horsepower even, which is what most people had. But just cool bodywork. Like, look at the style on this thing. Really, really awesome. Love this stuff. Um, and uh, I didn't even hide the chassis for this. So the chassis is actually in there somewhere, hiding in amongst the bodywork. But you still get a really cool open wheel uh, concept car, basically. It's kind of like an aerial atom, only with a few more body panels. But anyway, let's give it a go. <clears throat> so it's a little bit heavier in BeamNG, but as we've learned so far, weight being super low is not necessarily what gets you a good time. Like Rob's car, for example, pretty high on the weight. It weighs more than this one does. It's lower on my scale, but that car is quick, and it's because it actually puts that power down, even though it's only got 25 horsepower. It puts it down in a controllable way, makes it easy for me to move it, and then it actually went over the jump real quick, so it's not a bad combination. This one, again, has a bit of ground clearance. It's got wide tires. I don't anticipate having any issues, and it's got a beautiful red on it. Okay, let's go. Drive, all right. It's a... Uh, I'm assuming it's a dual clutch. Unlimited budget means unlimited dual clutches. That's what I would vote for here. Traction control, which is going to make things probably a little bit more planted. Thankfully, it's not bad like that one traction control incident we had. That was real bad. <laughs> Easy time on the mud, and it rolled. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, that's our first rollover of the day. <laughs> Well then, um, let me try that again. <laughs> okay, first rollover of the day was because of the ramp, so I think that that's uh, to be expected. Um, maybe this one's got a bit more weight up at the top than some of the other cars, but that's something I do have to consider. Uh, I like to jump off this ramp and hit the turn immediately, and doing that on this car maybe isn't the best call. We did lose a body panel when I went off of there that time. <laughs> Uh, which was interesting and we're gonna run into a solid time here. That is a 30 second run. That is wickedly quick uh, Run around this corner a little bit wide probably too wide. I think ESC was disagreeing with me there um, but this corner here we got to go in nice and slow and Pop out nice and fast Easy peasy. This is gonna be a quick one Definitely gonna be fast Every quick car hits the bump there. I actually just made that up. Okay, we're going in hot. Coming in real hot here, boys. Oh my goodness, that is wicked quick. Rob, you've been knocked out of second place. 58.314. That is a solid second place. Oh man. Nice job. A bit of an upset, <laughs> a bit of an upset celery. You got knocked out into fourth. I'm sorry, goodness. That was a wicked fast run there love to see it very very fast <laughs> okay okay let's let's have some fun um that that was a lot of fun <laughs> messing around in this game is uh is what i do best and i'm i thank you guys for allowing me to do so by sharing your creations with me now what i want to do just quick is uh go over the scoreboard uh but just give me a moment i have to pop up with the um with the window for that. <laughs> uh, I have to add a new source. Give me a minute. Browser. <laughs> oh, no, never mind. Uh, but I just want to go over the rules. Uh, not rules. I just want to go over the, uh, the things that have gone on. <laughs> there we go. That's the exact one I wanted to show. Hopefully you guys can see... What I'm looking at here, I'm going to make it um, 
full screen and uh, put it up for you. <laughs> I gotta shrink it down to fit my window. There we go. Okay. And I'll zoom in, don't worry. Let's go 150. All right, so we're looking at the results, everybody here. Hopefully you can see what I'm showing. Maybe I should go a little bit bigger. There we go, 200%, nice and easy. But that means a very easy first place prize to uh, Buzzy. Nice job on that car. Very, very nice job. Second place, 58. Very nice job. Again, uh, we'll give you a, a, an attempt at a silver. That's gray. <laughs> silver medal there uh, for Axa. Axa? Ak Azka. Azka. I cannot pronounce words, names, all that kind of stuff. Uh, it is difficult anyway. <laughs> 59 25 for Rob's car. Puts him into third place. Let's give it a bronze. Uh, that's not bronze at all. Bronze, there you go. But that is pretty decent. Overall, nice job, guys. I appreciate you joining in uh, with this <laughs> challenge. It is a lot of fun to do this stuff, and I'm very happy to, um, to uh, keep going with this. Um, doing these mini showcases every once in a while and uh, having some having some fun with it. So I was right here first, uh, second, and third, just so we can keep that in mind for the next time. Um, but yeah, thank you guys, appreciate it. <laughs> so uh, what I'm gonna do, um, these results will obviously be posted. I will screen cap them as well. I'll post them again so you guys can see a little bit easier in the Discord without having to jump into the link for this um, this whole page. Uh, I'm recording all of this, by the way. So what's going to happen is uh, I will be uh, posting a highlights video on it, possibly. I have to cut through the footage, of which there is an hour of at the moment. And so if you want to see some highlights from this, be sure to check that out, hopefully coming out Saturday or Sunday, depending on when I have time. But yeah, drop a like on the stream, guys, and uh, I will see you again next time. The track was... oh no. Um, <laughs> I forgot what it's called. It's it's definitely shown in the, uh, in the stream, so we'll have to go back and, and see it. Whenever I'm switching cars, it'll be there, so uh, maybe scrub back and take a look. But yeah, thank you guys for entering. I appreciate you all, and I'll see you again in the next one. Okay, recording stopped. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's industrial, short mixed. I, there are a few of them, um, but it's a short course for sure, and it's mixed. It's quite obvious the uh, the like the the shape of it is uh, quite easy to see, um, because it has that obvious shortcut. Yes, it's on the industrial site. But yeah, I, uh, I'll see you guys again in the next one. <laughs> Thank you for watching.